Welcome to Tradespoon. My name is Vlad Karpel. I'm CEO and the founder of Tradespoon. And I'd like to continue our conversation about holistic approach to your portfolio, not looking at individual positions, but what kind of exposure do you have in the market holistically? So let's take a look. We went over the sharp ratio in our previous session. Now I'd like to discuss portfolio beta. Again, to, in summary, why is this important? Why do we need to look at the overall portfolio? You could be really good at picking the right stocks and finding the timing and directions of how to on each of those stocks in order to make money, but how do you structure your portfolio in such a way that if the market sells off 10%, 20%, 30%, how can you build a portfolio that you're comfortable with that maximum risk and maximum exposure? The way to do it is to look at your portfolio and have kind of what if scenario. What if the market sells off 20%? Do I have enough hedge in my portfolio? Do I have enough short positions in my portfolio to offset the risk I'm taking by having exposure on the long side to the market? So let's just quickly recap. Traditionally, you would build a long short equity fund. You would have a stock where you find the best stocks and the underperforming stocks, and you will have a mixture of them. And you will be, your portfolio will be overall neutral to the market. When the market goes up, your bullish stock will outperform your bearish stock. When market sells off, your bearish, market, bearish stocks will outperform your bullish stocks. So at Tradespool, we build a portfolio management tool where you can take all of your Tradespool recommendations or all of the positions that you currently have in the market, you can enter them in our portfolio management tool, and our rebalancing engine will run on every day or every week, and will tell you what is our suggested weights for each of the positions that you have. Should you ex be exposed 10% to one position, or only 2% to each position? You can do an equal weight model, which is a traditional way, but you also can run different other algorithms to make sure that if you have highly volatile stocks or high beta stocks, you have less exposure to them, but you are maximizing the return on your investment on other stocks. So you can see on your screen, we already talked about the Sharpe ratio last time. Let's talk about beta this time. What does beta of a portfolio mean? Beta weighing. What does it mean and what's the definition? The spiders, the S&P 500, is the most popular index for beta weighing. What does it mean? You look at the individual position that you have in your portfolio and you compare it to the market. You compare it to SPY ETF in terms of how, what kind of return you will have and what kind of movements you will have. What is the correlation between your stock, your position, and the market? The beta of a portfolio is the weighted sum of individual assets. So you then you see how much exposure you have to individual stock. And do the stock, what is the correlation of that stock movement with ETF, the spiders? A beta of 1.5 1.05 relative to the S&P 500 implies that if the S&P excess return increases by 10%, if the S&P go up by 10%, the portfolio is expected to increase by 10.5%. That means that you have stocks that are more volatile than the market. And the higher that beta, if your beta is 2, that means your stocks are, will sell off twice as fast as the S&P 500. So if you're not comfortable with that, then you will build a mixture of low beta stocks, or low volatility stocks, and high volatility stocks. The higher the beta, the higher your exposure to the market, and just keep in mind that your individual stocks will sell off at a higher rate than the market itself. If you want to find out more information about beta and sharp ratio and having a holistic view on your portfolio, visit our webinars. And you can also find out more information on the social media. Thank you.